everyone back with another unboxing video. This episode is brought to you by the Accidental Aliens. Go to accidentalaliens.com and check out comics from sci-fi fantasy like Wanderers of Melisanda all the way to superhero titles like The Second Shift, story of minimum wage superheroes, people with normal nine to fives like you and I would have. Uh, please give those books a look. I draw both of those titles. Those are the titles I created. And uh, yeah, so I appreciate you going over there, checking it out. Please like and subscribe this channel. Okay, all right, on to books. Uh, so my best friend, he's been into comic collecting. I think I've got him hooked a little bit. I've been giving him some nice books as like Christmas and birthday presents, such as like X-Men number, or not X-Men number one, hello. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, and uh, Spider-Man, what number is that, 50? Uh, the one with Kingpin, Kingpin's first appearance. So I got him some nice books for his birthday and for Christmas. So now he went down a bit of a rabbit hole. So he actually got uh, an A-OK -okay from one of the sellers, which he A-OK -okay to me. So thank you, Ralph, for this. It is what if the all new, all different X-Men never ha never existed. So I'm very interested in looking, the, uh, looking through this issue right here. It is a recreation of uh, the, the classic giant size x-men number one so very cool or their take on recreation or homage so very cool very cool a-okay -okay. appreciate that okay let's get to opening these bad boys so. oh man they used every part of the buffalo on this huh this looks like Newspaper or something they used to tape it up. There's some writing on that side, so I'll not flip it over just in case. Okay, what do we got? Oh, okay, I wasn't sure. So, this is Mr. A number one. Uh, if you've watched the previous one of the previous episodes, I got a magazine lot, and this was actually the prize of that lot last time. I got a couple of other books that were pretty cool, somewhat valuable, uh, but this was what I was hunting for. I actually saw a better looking copy. So this is a better looking copy than the previous one I got. The other one I got for a steal, I can't remember offhand, I think it was like 30 bucks for all four books. And I think I got this one for 20, but on average, this book goes for about like 50 to $75. Or something like that and no one else was bidding on it for 20 so i snagged it i was like all right i'll take i'll take the 20 dollars hit for now you know something for later on uh so this is a very cool book i'm glad i picked that up and like i said that's actually a better copy so i'll be later down the line i'll probably like let the other one go I got my address on the other side, so I'm trying to keep this. Okay, that's interesting. It's not attached. Oh, they just had this thing loose in there. One piece of cardboard. Wow, look at that. Just not even, not even trying. Let's see what this is. Let's see what book this is. Oh my gosh. They sent me Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles second printing signed and remarked by Kevin Eastman in that. Like, what What are we doing here? That's ridiculous. Like the shipping was, oh my gosh, that's brutal. I mean, I know this thing was not in mint condition, but who's to say how badly that could have turned out? It actually looks like in somewhat decent condition. Let's open this thing up. Quick pool. So let's see here. There's like a large indentation right there. And the corner corner is creased. But this is stuff I saw on, on the auction. Uh, and then you have your spine ticks. There are two bigger ones right here and right there. And that's kind of it. Uh, I got this on a pretty good deal. So this book, I, I don't know how many of 
this title it's, itself was uh, reprinted. This is a second printing, but it's very expensive. Every time I see it online, it's very, very expensive. This is actually the cover to one of the video games from the 90s. They use this image and uh, yeah, it's, it's dope. So I had to have it. So as of right now, I have X, or I keep saying X-Men. I, I collect Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and X-Men so much that my brain automatically defaults to one of the two. Uh, so I have TMNT third printing number one. I believe I have two copies of that still. I gave one copy to my best friend for his uh, uh, birthday present. And uh, no, Christmas present, I'm sorry. And he got me issue three. I bought myself issue two, and then, so now I have the second printing of issue four, which is harder to find. So he really wanted this cover. He actually got this book himself, and um, I, I actually showed him an eBay listing for it, and he bought it. And uh, so then a month later, I ended up seeing this book, and it was actually a little bit cheaper than his, in slightly better condition, and signed and remarked. So I got a heck of a deal on that. So pretty happy about that. Not so happy about how that dude shipped it. Luckily, it all turned out well. So uh, what do you guys do? Do you guys leave comments or, or whatever, like on, you know, eBay listings and stuff, of people selling stuff? Like, how would you go about dealing with that? Would you leave him negative feedback? Would you just mark the stars down on the shipping? Would you just leave it alone since nothing happened? Like, what, what do you guys do? I'm always curious. I always feel bad. I don't like leaving people negative feedback, but I'm always, I'm always curious as to when it's justified. Like, I don't know, maybe just a star down. Cause you, you star like certain, certain parts of the transaction. So you rate them. So maybe I'll just give him low marks on the shipping. Cause it did get here safely. It didn't get, you know, eaten up by the USPS machine. So, I don't know. Let me know. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think. I remember picking up that Ninja Turtles game when it came out. Like, I wanted to love it. I played it so much, but it was so freaking difficult. And I played it for hours upon hours upon hours. I think I played it a lot longer than the game actually deserved. But, you know, I was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle maniac. I had to have everything. I had every single toy. Uh, I think my first Halloween costume that I made myself, it was like a white Hanes t-shirt that I uh, <laughs> used a marker on. Oh, okay. And went to, went to school with a, a white t-shirt painted with, with <laughs> markers <laughs> to look like a turtle shell. So anyway. All right. So we got this. I believe this is the first appearance of Magic, Ileana, uh, Colossus's sister. So I believe that to be true. So this guy got this book for uh, $6, it looks like. And uh, honestly, I can't remember how much I picked this up for. So I'll just put it in the bottom left here. And uh, yeah, so I was, I've been hunting this one for a while. Just been watching auctions, trying to, you know, bid on certain ones. If it goes over a certain amount, then I back off. Anyway, this plastic's toast. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rebag this anyway. So who cares? Um, let me look at the condition of the book. Let's do the quick pull. So we got some got some spine tick action going on here. Let me see. There's one right here, right where my thumb is. You can see it there. Uh, yeah, it's all right. You know, there's a crease over here, a bit of a color breaking crease. You can see it there in the light. And this corner down here isn't is dinged up a little bit, like a little boxing in the corner. 
So, and then you can see a crease right here. So, another one off the list. I appreciate that. They gave me a little A-OK -okay as well. It is Insufferable on the Road. Oh, it's a Mark Wade book. So I have uh, Krause and Woodard. Number four. Interesting. The art looks cool. So I have I've not heard of this title. Uh, IDW, it's one of our local studios here in San Diego. And that's it. That's it for this episode. Thank you again for watching. Again, please like and subscribe these videos. Please go to accidentalaliens.com and check out my titles. The Second Shift, Story of Minimum Wage Superheroes, People with Normal 9 to 5s like you and I would have. And uh, Superheroing at Night. And I have a lot of uh, Filipino representation in the book, which is important to me. And, uh, yeah, so I got the Filipino brother and sister here. She's making pancit. He's eating some spamasubi. Um, the first, this is issue number eight. And it takes place, it starts off in Pangasinan, uh, Philippines, where my family is from originally. I was born and raised here in San Diego, but that's where my mom's from. And so you have Bayani Man up here. So if you're a fan of like X-Men or Gen 13, Wildcats, stuff like that. Give this book a look. I think you'll really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Uh, they always say, you know, Eric Larson always says, create the comic that you want to read. And this is the comic I want to read. I, every, every issue that comes out, every script I get back from my writer, I'm psyched about, very happy. So uh, give it a look. This is, I'm really proud of this issue. This is a really fun issue. This is issue number eight. And I do a thing here. It's a one-shot story. So you know what kind of story you're getting into. It's actually issue number eight over here in this corner. So anyway, check those out. Uh, this is a second shift trade at accidentalaliens.com. And uh, yeah, pick them up. Thanks a lot, everyone. Catchphrase. Mm -hmm.